Hey, sorry, I'm late. I had a bit of trouble for the traffic. It's okay. Okay, food's almost ready. Sounds good. Uh, the cousin's still coming over tomorrow? That's the plan. You wanna help me set the table? Yeah, sure. You know, I have a work experience that I've been wanting to talk to you about. Oh, really? What happened? So, um, I clocked in, and I'm looking at the schedule, and barely any people are on it. Like, I see these two other women are with me, but all I can think about is how busy will the day be once the statement is told Hey. Hmm? Where are you? Uh, nothing. I'm fine. How was work? Nothing special. Uh, I had to take care of something real quick. Oh, come on, stay here. She'll be here any minute. All right. April. What's this? Uh, uh, let's see. That's. Did you just get this today? Well, I was gonna tell you, just not on her day, but clearly I've got other problems brewing. Other problems? What is that supposed to mean? They let me go, Claire. What do you want me to do about it? It's done. I don't know. I don't know, but you should have just told me. Just drop it, okay? I'll find another job. It's, and not, it's not about that. Then what? It's about April. What does this have to do with her? Everything has to do with her. You think I don't care? After all this, I'm trying to fix this. You barely spend time with her anymore. Oh, here we go again. And I don't want to hear it. And, and now I gotta hear it. I really hope you don't mean that. You know, I'm trying to fix this too. I want to get some air. <laughs> Claire. What? It's me. Come in. Hey. What happened? Alan, <laughs> dump me. On your birthday? I don't even know why. It's just, I don't know. Well, I'm sorry, honey. Hey, uh, I think I know something that can maybe make you feel better. Well, I think I know a story that- Dad, I'm too old for bedtime stories. Oh no, 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 no. This isn't a bedtime story. It's something more real than that. All right, what's it about? We'll get there, don't worry. This story is better with the element of surprise. And if I recall, it starts with Mr. McKenna. Mr. McKenna. Hey, what do you need? Uh, I wanted to get you this. Oh. Is this new? Yeah. Rudy, you didn't have to give me this. Well, I mean, I know, but your old one was busted. It's a goodbye gift. I'm sure this isn't goodbye. I hope so. How's it fit? Well. Definitely fits better than the last one. <laughs> okay, good. Listen, I'd, I'd like to talk more, but I've got a lot on my plate right now. Yeah. Oh, and uh, you have a nice break. I will. Thank you. Thank you. No, I mean. I know what you mean. I'll see you around. It was McKenna's last day of teaching in our district. He would move in the coming weeks to teach in New York.
you leaving school without me? I see you almost every day. You're gonna survive. I know, I just like a little company. Come on. I was also friends with his son. Heads up. Thought they told you to take it easy on the arm. I mean, I am. Pretty soon I'll be able to pitch again. Say, got any plans this week? Nah, not really. Why? Well, I just happened to hear about a little meet. Man, I just happened to hear who's gonna be there. Who? Claire. Oh, no, Rivers. no, 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 no. I no. promise. All you gotta do is go up to her and just talk. Yeah, you make it sound so easy. I know you like her, and she's not gonna know about it unless you do something. Uh huh, and I'd like it that way. Do you? It sure beats rejection. You don't believe that. Of course I do. Uh huh. Yep. What time? Yes. Mom? Well, I had some interest in her as it was, but I was afraid to speak to her. Why not just tell her? Well, it's when I realized life gave me an opportunity, but not everything was as perfect as it seemed. Where is it? Where is what? My money. Where did it go? You probably just misplaced it or something. Hey. You took it, didn't you? What? What'd you spend it on? What the hell are you talking about? Don't gaslight me, you probably gave it to that teacher of yours. I didn't take your damn money. Yes, you did! Oh, what, now you want to gaslight me? What did you do with it? For the last time, I didn't take anything! Don't scream at your mother! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you probably lost it to some fool you picked up off the street. <laughs> Don't touch me. Go to your room. You're always having second thoughts about this. Your problem is that you like to overthink. I hate it when you're right. Well, what are you waiting for? I, what? I thought this was some Frank group meet. Okay, I might have stretched the truth a bit. What? What? That, that doesn't matter. What matters is she's right there. All right. Here's that. Remember what I taught you. But, teach me anything. Okay, well, just go talk. Hi, Rudy, right? Yeah, actually, how'd you know? Well, I've I've seen you around before. If you think that's weird, I like totally understand. No, I, it's funny you say that. I don't think it's weird, actually. I think a lot of people know people, they just don't say anything, and they won't be called weird. Yeah, that's, that's probably the case. Uh, I've seen you around school, and I've thought about talking to you. You have? Yeah, you think that's weird. I don't think I blame you. No, no, that, that, you're good. Good to that. I'm Claire, by the way. Oh, I know. Well, I'm, <laughs> I've heard of you. That makes sense. So, uh, do you have any plans this week? Why do you ask? I guess I just kind of had an idea. What's that? Uh, would you maybe want to um, go hang out sometime? Are you asking me on a date? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I think that's the word. Yeah, sure. Really? Uh, all right, I'm, I'm um, a little packed up with work, but I could do Friday. Friday. Good talk. Uh, I um, forgot your number. Oh, um... uh, hold on. Thank you. Yeah. Later. How'd it go? It's a date.
Oh, you, you know how to ride a bike? Um, no. No, I think I'll just show you on the way. Come on. <laughs> I can't believe he'd do that. No, Zach was like that for two weeks, and he still smiled through the whole thing, too. So, um, how do you know about me, like, really? Take a guess. Zach? I don't know why he wouldn't just tell you, unless... So I forgot that part. To be fair, he never pointed me your direction. I guess he just knows before you did. I see. So, um, what do you want to be when you grow up, or, like, you, you know what I mean. <laughs> that was a jarring question. That bad, huh? Do you do everything Zach tells you? Well, of course not. Well, from the story I just told you, but, you know, Zach's a good guy. Okay. But we're definitely gonna have to work on that. Yeah. You first. Well, I've always wanted to be a writer, you know, make my own stories and stuff like that. What about you? I, I wanna... What? Come on, join me. I haven't really, I mean, I wanna sing. Really? That's perfect. Really? Yeah, why not? Hmm? You coming? It felt like yesterday, but it was forever ago. Why haven't you told me before? I don't know. Crap, my uncle. Huh? Go hide. <laughs> I told you this would work out, didn't I? I mean, yeah, you did. So? What happened last night? Th nothing really, I mean... Well... C come on, man, give me some juice. There is no juice. Fine, fine, you don't have to tell me. Thank you. Seriously, though, man, I'm happy for you. You deserve this. Thank you for doing this. Even though you've, like, lied to me and... It's kind of manufactured and all that. I'm just being a good friend. And let's call it stretching the truth. You know, looking back at what he did, I don't even think the words thank you were enough. So what happened next? Where is she? Let's give her a minute. I told you already, can you please for the hundredth time? Oh. We're not done until I say we're done. Claire! Let's go.
You okay? Yeah, you? Call the cops. You alright? My wrist it's, it's, it's broken. Everything had happened so fast. I guess I should have seen it coming. Not right now. Wait, wait. What? Look. About your friend. I'm sorry, Rudy. <laughs> now you care? I guess you guys are leaving now. Yeah, truck's already left. We're just loading up the last of our stuff right now. Here, uh, come help with uh, Zach's case. <clears throat> All right, that should be everything, so come say bye. Hey. What's up? You doing all right? I'm good. Have fun in New York. I will. We'll send you a postcard. Look, about what happened, don't, I... Don't bring it up. It's all right. You ready? Yeah. Till next time, Rudy. Bye, Mr. McKenna. Bye, Zach. See you around, Rudy. I never saw him again. So that's it? He's gone just like that? Yep. We couldn't get any worse. Hey, look at me. I'm not going anywhere, okay? I'm here. So what now? I don't know. By now, if we try hard enough, we'll get to it. You really think that? Together? Together. Yeah, That's how I met your mother. I like that. I knew you would. Maybe you should turn that into a story. I would have then, but I think I saved it for someone better. You've got your whole life ahead of you. I want to give you that chance. I know. Looks like my work here is done. First thing in the morning, we can open your present. Okay. Well, good night. Good night, Dad. I'm sorry too. It's just with April's mood and you losing her job. I don't I don't know if it's just me, but sometimes it just feels so hopeless. Like I'm back there again before everything happened. Where are the good times go, Rudy? Well, I don't think they went anywhere. But if you're wrong. Well, then if I'm wrong, there's no two other people that I'd rather spend my time with. All we can do is... Let's try.